It's just an <laughs> oh, you guys just saw me making a scary sound. You could voice here. Hear it, right? Yeah. I'll save that and do it again later. That's right. That was it's, more fun. Anyway. it's more fun on being spontaneous with it. Hey, welcome to Trail Talk. As you can see, we've got a little uh, seasonal theme going today. Yeah, we do. All in for Halloween. We're going to make some tasty, fun treats, some things that you really can make with kiddos. Yeah, that's Everything what they're made for. You know, Mary and I are not making anything very difficult. And we're on this. Kids at yeah. Place, so. And then we're also going to show you one of the craft options that will be available at our Halloween on the Trail event. We're hosting Saturday night, October 29th from 6 to 9 p.m. here at the Heritage Center. That's right. uh, we're going to have a lot of fun. We'll, we'll tell you guys all about that before the show is over today. But welcome to Trail Talk. Live from the Chisholm Trail Heritage Center in Duncan, Oklahoma, America. America. I miss Mary and that is, is, and I miss Edie. That's right. Yeah. In case you're a first time watcher. I feel like I took a, a week off last week for fall break and I have completely forgotten how to um, hey, we host a trail talk. Hey, oh, well, you know stranger things have happened. That's right. Hmm. That's right. Oh, 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 oh. I like that right there. Yeah. Those all right yeah okay so to start out we're gonna make some fun little witches hats okay and so we'll start with just some melted chocolate you know the uh like almond bark almond bark the the chocolate one uh as opposed to the white because i mean you can make white ones but they just wouldn't be as they wouldn't be as witch like witch like yeah. yeah so uh we got that we've got some oreos and so we're just going to dip some oreos and put them on our plates first off so, so should we uh, just hold them and i'll spoon it over your your cookie well i'm just, just gonna i'm just gonna dunk it. yeah just dunk it down in there flip it over dunk and flip yeah dunk and flip she's doing the dunk and flip method mm -hmm. and then i'm gonna plop it onto my plate yeah. there you go yeah. now i will say if you didn't want to take the time to do all this, they do have the fudge covered Oreos that you can shortcut oh, it. Oh, that's true. But this is so much more fun. Th yeah, this is way, and it's just got that little mess factor that the kids are going to really love. And you get to go digging for your cookie. Mm hmm Yeah. And then, you know what? The extra chocolate left over. Oh, yeah. It's okay. melted anyway, so someone's yeah. going to eat it. Yeah, so we're going to, and just um, in case you're wondering, we are using gluten-free Oreos. Uh so that is an option if you're not aware right of that and your kiddo has the gluten thing um you can 100 percent go with the gluten-free oreos they are wow she speaks very from experience good. that's right i do they are really good okay we got our oreos dipped flipped and covered yeah so the next thing you do just take your little hershey's kiss and unwrap it of course and you know, have the bag handy because you probably need to eat one. Yeah, or two. Can eat. yeah, yeah, and just stick it right there in the center of your little the little base. And then what we're pro what we're going to do is set these to the side before we decorate them any further. Okay, um, so they can set up a little bit because we're going to add some uh, embellishment because what which doesn't want to have you her gotta have some embellished yeah. I mean, come on now exactly so so these are going to just kind of go to the side and you here. can also buy like the little the uh white and regular chocolate mixed oh the, like the striped ones yeah the that hugs yes. right hugs, hugs yeah. i think yeah so so we're gonna i'm gonna set the use uh, what you have at hand at home at home exactly okay so okay. i'm gonna put the little decorating things yeah. right there with that Caps and there. now I'm going to have a, another empty plate. Okay, okay, so we, I'll be right back with number two. I can sing for you. Do, uh, let's see. I got to have a song to go though. Yeah. You Next do. time I'll be ready. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to set this part over there okay. for you. All right. And we are making dirt pudding. Yum. I mean, it's not like scary, but it, it, it could be like a little creepy and we're making the creepy version. And you sure. Yeah, because you, you want it to look like you're eating real dirt. Yeah. So you, you can do, you can use a food processor. Mm -hmm. I have this super handy dandy little chopper or a bag gadget. and a rolling pin or a bag and yeah. a spoon. A spoon. But I'm just going to, so I'm going to chop up some of these Oreos. Again, these are gluten-free ones. So, well. Oh my too many thing is no it, it, um, they got jam instead of flat yeah they were 
So look at that. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So here she is working off the Oreo. Now that's right. Yeah. Okay. So it's a little bit warm. And this dirt thing is not going to actually be pudding. There you go. Just chopped to perfection. Yes. I could do a little commercial for the chopper because that's a pretty that's right. handy little deal right that there. That mm -hmm. down. Yeah. So we're going just Cool Whip and Oreo cookies. We're going to head with the extra creamy. Uh, yeah. Cool Whip. Yeah. And we're, we're not going to put all. the cookie first or the whip first. Well, go ahead and put the, some of the Cool Whip in there. Little spoonful. Yeah. Okay. We might need a little bit more. We're going to okay. layer up, do a couple of layers in the cookie. Yeah. Okay. And then put some of this because you don't want to put all of it so you can have some mix. layers. Yeah, mix that up. Oh, lovely. That's good. This is like a nice uh, cookies and cream mm -hmm. look to it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And so then you take a clear um, container of some okay. sort. You I want mean, to be able to see through it. Right. You know, depending on what kind of, if you're hosting an event, you need some, you want it Individual to be or big. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're going to just uh, spoon a little bit of the spoon a little bit, spoon a little bit. I got stuff in the cup. There you go. Okay, there's my song. Yeah. Maybe just a tad more. Yeah. So I'm gonna just spoon that. Cause, yeah. And then I'm going to use this other spoon okay. and sprinkle some cookie layer on there. Yum. Yum. Now we go a little bit more of the Good, the white part, the goodie here. Okay, okay. spread that around again. Oh, I might need more some more. more. Yeah. See, it, it may not go quite as far as I thought. I thought we had enough. And when you too. start, when you start mixing all that down and pull it kind of the place. Yeah, out. that's true. That's true. Okay, and then more cookie. More. Or do you want to insert something first? Uh, no, we're gonna go cookie. Okay. And then the piece de resistance will be in just a moment. Okay, I'm going to, um, for presentation's sake, okay. I'm going to grab a paper towel. Okay, here, wait, here's one right here. Um, because this is, yeah, I mean, you, you want, know, you want like, yes, yeah, I'm going full on chef mode here. <laughs> we want five star, yeah, five star ratings. It's going to be so good. They're going to add a six. We're going to Michelin the Network yeah. magazine. Okay, now we're going to add gummy worms because, right, you need that for something creepy and scary. It, all of a sudden, I'm singing that song. The worms go in, the worms go out, <laughs> in your nose and out your mouth. And gummy spiders. Mm -hmm. What could be creepier than a big fat spider in your food? Why is that making me gag? A big fat gummy spider. And so there you have it. Yum. How cute is that? Cookies Look and cream, at that. Halloween dirt. So fun and it's just so stinking cute. And if you wanted to add an extra thing, freeze your cool whip after you mix your Oreos in it. You can make oh, it like a frozen, a you know, or you can cream put cream. it together like that, freeze it. And I wonder if layer. you could like and have the gummies stuck in it too. We'll leave your cookie, your last layer of cookie uh, on and then put your cookie on after it comes out and mm -hmm. ready to serve. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a really fun idea. So, we, can we come so there you go. Next, next level. We always try to take mm -hmm. things up mm -hmm. to the next level. Right. Um, and then you, there's always extra gummy. Yeah, gummies are not and they're the best. You know, you got and you got to have some of that too. Yeah, you got it for sure. Of spoons. Yes. Okay. Anybody want to lick the spoon? Okay. Sorry, that was a thing. I don't know, but okay. So now we'll be right back. Okay. Yeah, we don't have any people working um, <laughs> the side of our thing <laughs> with us. Okay, yeah, these next things we're making. <laughs> are very cute and very fun. Thank you for the. She had like one of this instrument music timeout break. Okay, this is. You need to have a screen that just says "We'll be right back." Yeah. <laughs> Put it in there. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna make are these really fun little kind of vampire mouth cookie sandwiches. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, can you see the the fangs there on the side too? These are so funny. Yeah, your teeth are going to eat some teeth. Yeah, your teeth are going to eat some teeth. That's good. <clears throat> okay, yeah. so you can use icing. Um, I uh, 
But I thought peanut butter, having peanut butter would be instead of more sugar. Yeah, instead of more just yeah, straight up sugar would be kind of a yummier, like you know, add an Please. extra a, add a layer, add a layer of flavor. Yes, add a layer of flavor. That's that's there you go. Okay, so we're gonna take just a big old dollop of peanut butter. And it's gonna be all eaties. Yeah. <laughs> and then we're just gonna like let me put a bunch of red food coloring. I mean, can it be too red? I don't think it'll go over red. It'll I don't stay at red. Mm -hmm. uh, that's right. Yeah. So uh, I still have big coloring stains on my hands. And you can also use like the gel color too. Yeah, that's true. That is so true. So this is like some congealed. Uh, yeah, <laughs> some kind of, yeah, congealed gummy more. Yeah, I think I might. Yeah, it's not it's not red yet. It's not as good as the. Okay. Ton of so you guys have lots of plans for Halloween. I think Halloween falls on a Monday this year, right? Yeah. Yes. Is that, and is that when they're trick or treating and here in town? So I think everything's going to be taking place. Except for like events like we're having on Saturday. Right. I think the town is. You know, which is kind of nice, isn't it? To be able to spread it out day. over a couple of days. Have mm -hmm. uh, the Boo Review, I think it's on Main Street mm -hmm. on Saturday. Yeah. And then Saturday night, along with Halloween on the trail, the Simmons Center is also hosting a haunted trail. Right. And yes. and there's two, like there's two levels. It's called terror on the trail. Yeah, terror on the trail. And then they're also having something that would not be, that would not terrorize your, your well, not forever harm the baby yeah. child. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, like, you know, I hope it's really scary because I kind of want to go check out that trail. Well, I'll go with you, but you need to have jeans or something on to have a belt loop because I always hold the belt loop of my friend that does in front of me. And he, I'm just going to apologize now in case I ripped it. Okay, well, um, you know, just make sure that you have some kind of ear protection because I scream. Okay. I just scream. Well, if you don't I mind just, the belt loop, I won't mind yeah, the Yeah, <laughs> you guys will hear us coming. That's for sure. Right. Oh, there's Edie and Mary. We heard about this. <laughs> okay, all right. So, um, what you do is you take your two big flat cookies. Big, these are soft chocolate chip cookies. And they were just store bought, right? Yes, yeah, just store bought. You know, it's really hard to make a nice big flat yes. flat cookie like yes. this at home. So I would recommend for this particular um, treat to buy these. And so um, honestly, I was just kind of playing with it a little bit. Do you have, you need a spoon? Well, I was just going to wonder if I could help you to do one. I don't know. Let's just do it. Okay. Mine always turns out so much worse than yours. Well, uh, I don't know. I usually have it all over myself. Okay. So um, what, what I, I think will be the best thing to do is you just put some, some of your peanut butter around the front. Don't What's going to be the front. It. Yeah. Don't necessarily fill it. Um, and then you're gonna kind of make it kind of tall over there is what I'm thinking. And then you're gonna take your uh, little mini marshmallows. That's what the teeth are, little mini marshmallows, yeah. Just kind of stick them around there. I put an even number uh, when I <laughs> made my samples. Um, you know, I don't know if that's really 100% necessary, but uh, that's what I thought I wanted to do. Okay, and then you take slivered almonds, and I'll tell you a little secret. If you don't want to buy a giant bag of slivered almonds, or if you don't have them at your house, soak these things in a little water. Mm -hmm. I mean, the skin comes right off if you get them just a little bit wet, it's mm -hmm. scraped right off. Uh, but you got to soak them to make them soft enough to chop mm -hmm. or they break. Okay. Yeah. So I just soaked them. They just kind of soaked all day. Anyway, um, then you take your other cookie and put a similar spread of the peanut butter. Do you use marshmallows on that one? You don't. Though. No, huh? okay. this is going to be the topper. Yeah, this is going to be the topper. Okay. And then you just kind of smush it together like that. <laughs> He's like, oh, uh, 
<laughs> and so you got like this big how do you do it doing well right this big weird mouth here and then you just kind of stick your little vampire fangs in i kind of thought they should be after the like four teeth you just stick those I don't think things he stuck on with their dental plan yeah his teeth are a little and there you go where do they go just like that yeah you put yours in motion uh, I put them on after I put the top on. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> These look like a, a pair of false teeth or something. <laughs> oh, my teeth, Molly. I'm really a lot. Somebody got some floss out there. My. I think I got a little gingivitis going on. <laughs> it's gone. I got a tooth that maybe needs pulling. Uh, it's kind of got a. Where's Cookie when you need him, right? Okay, yeah. So, yeah, it these. these there we are, go. There we go. A little problem okay. with the gums, but there you go, guys. The funny little uh, teeth cookies. Mm -hmm. And like I said, you could make it with just icing if you wanted. You can see, you know, how much you uh, use of the stuff. So, here you want to put them on there? Yeah. That one. And that was Savannah's uh, phone, not any kind of a weird <laughs> body function. You don't have any kind of anything uh, like that. <laughs> you never know what these things are going to sound like. That was not the bread. There was yeah. That was, yeah. yeah okay. Uh, okay. So now there's there's number three, treat number three. And it looks like our, um, our hats. Yeah, they're setting up nice. Oh, oh, those are nice. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, I'm going to take this over here. Okay. Now we're going to make uh, what I thought might be like the funniest. Uh, I don't know. The teeth are pretty stinky. Funny. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but we're going to make the eyeball cookie. That guy right there. It kind of looks like um, Monstrous Ink. My, Mike was asking. Yeah. Yeah. I've got my eye on you, Wazowski. Is that that teacher? That's the lizard. Uh, she, um, uh, was her name Marge? Yeah, she had like a 12 smoker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she, Go back a day. she was, oh, I love the, I love the okay. All yeah, right, so classes. for this one, we're going to use uh, icing. Here, I'm just going to get uh, a blob of it out here, Mary. Okay. Here. Okay. And then I'm going to add the food coloring and let you okay. stir this one up. All right. Okay, mm -hmm. so. I was I was kind of going for a Mike Wazowski look, okay. and I put uh, too much green, and so I'm just going to put one drop of green okay. in that. Green is like super powerful. Oh man! And then I'm going to go. Oh. Yeah. One. Going to squeeze the last of the yellow out. Try to get as much yellow. I think there's another yellow up there, but it doesn't matter. I got it right here. Oh. So. This um, hopefully is going to lighten him up nicely. Oh, yeah. Honestly, if that stuff wouldn't go all over the place, I'd just take the little I know. thing out of the middle of it. Oh, man. This is like um, alien green. Oh, yes. Oh, perfect. It turned out so good. That's the color we want, don't you think? Color achieved. Yes. I'm going to get another thing so I can... I said so for this okay, so these oops. I also got store bought cookies for these I'll tell you a little secret the original treat that I saw was actually like a cake pop a more round all yeah it was a round ball or I mean you you know how you can make it could be a peanut butter ball it could be Protein anything ball. right yeah whatever and and then it was dipped probably in white almond bark mm -hmm. with food coloring added but I thought this would be easy, easy for any age. Right. And you don't and, have to have a bunch of melted chocolate around. Yeah, yeah. And so um, you just take a spoonful. Yeah, I'll just set that okay. down. And are you going to do the, which side are you going to? I did, I did it on the, um, the top side. Top side, okay. yeah. And just cover the top of your cookie really well. You know, if you've got a kiddo doing this, Green icing is going to be everywhere, which makes it 10 times more fun. Yeah. Because then you get to stop and lick your fingers. And so I was hoping for, and I got peanut butter all over me. I don't eat peanut butter. This mm -hmm. I eat, and I'm getting a drop of it on me. Of course. But you know what? The spoon goes in my mouth really. Yeah, for sure. 
So just kind of smooth it out yeah, the smooth. best you can. You know, I mean, I guess Mike Wazowski was kind of furry. So if you want to make it. Yeah, I mean, honestly, you could do, do this. Wait, I'm going to fur. If I'm you were doing a Monsters, Inc. party, like birthday party or something. Or even Minions, you could do yellow. Oh, you could do mm -hmm. yellow. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, that's true. I like the way you're adding texture. Thank you. Um, this is an art of the, uh, one of the some techniques. Technique, we use. Yeah, <laughs> we teach art here as well. So you know, we want to. Okay, and then pick your eyeball. And these were just some silly Halloween toy eyeballs I found. These are not edible. Right? No, these okay. are not. This okay. is just a plastic. They were actually in these little squeeze shooter things that I thought looked really fun mm -hmm. that I'll be playing with later. Okay. Um, and then just lay your little eyeball like right in the middle. And Mike Wazowski did not have any hair. Okay, so mm -hmm. this could just be Mike Wazowski. Or like the little sample one I did, you can sprinkle and get a little hair on him. Or if you got really tricky with it, you were really meticulous, you could do little eyelashes. You could, this is true. Um, so there you got a little, little crop of hair there on top. And we'll that- come over. Yeah, we'll come over. That is literally all that that is. But I mean, how fun. Yeah. And you know it's going to taste good. Now, this is an oatmeal cookie, but you could use like chocolate chip like that. You could use whatever. You just buy whatever cookie and use it for both projects. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sugar cookie? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sugar cookies. That'd be really good mm -hmm. with this one. Mm -hmm. um, so just any kind of big flat cookie. And honestly, if you make a really good flat kind of cookie, yeah, then go for use it. it. Yeah, use that. Kids love to um, help make they cookies. They can help do that as well. Yeah. So there's... I went ahead and did... It kind of looks more like the 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 blood vessels in an eye because they're not quite straight, but there it is. It's there. It's close. Yeah, it's pretty close. All right. Okay, so that one is done now. And this next one, I think that this next one is one of my faves. This is it, though. This is the last one after this we, is the last. Well, we, we have, have to finish, finish our yeah, hats. hats. But then we also have the craft right that we're doing uh, Saturday night. Okay, so here um, I was mainly asking so we could start eating. Oh, <laughs> Mary's ready. To I have eat. a sweet tooth. Okay, so for this one, you need a donut. Just a like. Yeah. Glazed, glazed. I mean, you could get one that has some kind of frosting <laughs> on it. And then these funny little vampire teeth, these little kind that like this. Ooh, I just had an idea because they don't want to. Um, I tried that and they want to straighten out. Well, maybe they're going to stay. I stuck mine down. Okay. There. All right. Oh, so here we go, though. Yeah. Is it opening all it's the way? It's slowly opening. So if you want some for like dramatic. Oh, look. I went there. Stop. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so here you've got your uh, awesome donut uh, with vampire tea. These are glow in the dark. Then you take some oh, red. Oh, did it? Yeah. Okay, I shove them all the way. I'm going to. Yeah, it doesn't work. I'm going to put some sticks in it. Uh, oh, yeah. And then you just take some of the red gel and kind of have a little blood dripping off the edge of the teeth. <laughs> Freshly bitten. Yeah. And then here is, uh, so the teeth already are not edible, right? Um, you're going to add some eyes to this guy. And uh, here they do make candy eyes. Mm -hmm. The ones we found were kind of small. We're going to use regular little like googly eyes like you would like glue on yeah, for art projects and use some of the gel mm -hmm. as an adhesive to hold mm -hmm. the eyeball. Actually, I have some icing left on my spoon. Oh, I'm that's a good idea too. Yeah. I'm not you yeah. And um <laughs> Here you go. The little donut vampire. <laughs> He's so funny. 
Do I just need to? <laughs> what? Do I have something on my face? <laughs> Why you look staring at me? Okay. The voice is not. Oh you. man, these are very fake. This would be a great Halloween breakfast. Yes. Or you would it, kiss? Wouldn't that be so fun to what for your kids to wake up and for you to have this wait for them on Halloween morning? I love it. Oh my gosh. These are so cute and funny. Yeah, you're going to have to shove them in. Um, mm -hmm. Otherwise, you're going to have an opera singing uh, yeah. vampire <laughs> like this I, one. I have, a, I have a stick back here. So, all of mine is not edible. But anyway, those are so fun. And the uh, kids would have something uh, vampire tea. Yeah, they could their, use the tea. Yeah, they could wear them to school, you know. and scare everybody or turn your lights out in the morning i bunk you suck you'll go yeah i know i have a great dracula voice <laughs> okay so now we're gonna finish up our hats yes okay and um we have some fun little uh sprinkles here i've got some bones some little white are cute. bones yeah and then these are like black bats and orange pumpkins. You could use any Good kind. They have all pumpkin. colors of sprinkles. They even have glitter, edible sprinkles. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I got some orange gel. And so I'm just going to pipe a little orange gel around the base of the uh, oh, chocolate uh -huh. kiss, uh -huh. like a hat band. Right and start with that <clears throat> and i mean the chocolate has set up completely it's, oh, it's, it's great is it stuck here mine's got a white rim <laughs> i've got a sun hat that's right oh i've got a little bit of one on this one over here but you know what gives you more space to work with yeah exactly um so i've got that so i'm gonna um, sprinkle some uh, little bats and pumpkins around on here. And I'm thinking that it's just going to stick where, Very where the gel is. Yeah. I did mine around the base of the hat itself. So. Oh, that's a cute idea. <clears throat> See if it turned out the way I wanted. You want some? I'm going to actually put some bones. Okay. Here you go. Thank you. I think I'm gonna throw bones around this hat band. I don't know where I got these bones. I was say, where'd you get the little bones? I don't know. Honestly, I think I had a a it gingerbread doghouse. Ah, uh, yeah. I was gonna say it looks like something that came like packaged. Yeah, I think it was like a gingerbread little doghouse thing. See? And you know what? Get on to me because I don't ever throw stuff like that away. Mm -hmm. But look what I was yeah. able to do. Exactly. Yeah, so uh, there you have it. You're right. Your grandmother is not crazy. <laughs> you ordered me a bit much. Oh, I think I'm going to put a little bag on the very tip top here of this. So, this gel that we're using is gel icing, right? Yes, this is at a vitamin too, like that, right? Mm -hmm. Cake craft. Um, if you're shopping in Duncan, you're probably not going to find any. But if you go to Chickasha, uh, they have it. They have quite the cake decorating. Actually, uh, Walmart may open like the arts and crafts area. Maybe not in the food baking. But I this think one's in the party. In like the craft area. The party section. I put a bat on the very top of the hat. Wow, how cute. There's a bat on the hat. What about that? Said the cat in the hat. When he sat on his rat. All right, there's mine. It has the little bat or the little bones around the brim, the bone brim. I'm gonna put like a little bone ribbon. There we go. Let me knock this all out here. And then, what should I do? Should I just leave it like this? I don't like it. It kind of looks like stitching. Sometimes, yeah. These are so cute. So really, um, if you didn't want the kids to risk injury, you know, with the hot chocolate that was melted, 
you could do that part yourself or like you say buy the pre-dipped mm -hmm. ones right and then just um put the look it looks like a little oh, cute a little scarecrow like a little ribbon tied around. yeah a little ribbon <laughs> you know what you could even do too is take some of the cookie crumbs left over from your dirt and that could be oh mm -hmm. you know, this is true oreos on oreos how could it be wrong how could you go wrong okay there's mine oh so cute <laughs> So here you go, little witch's hats mm -hmm. right there. Look at those cute things. They're so cute. And you guys saw, I mean, literally, we just dumped the cookies yeah. down in the melted almond bar. And it was actually them. set up for a while. Yeah, flipped them. And uh, they were probably set up in five minutes mm -hmm. or less. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Cute, cute. Okay, so now we have, uh, we're going to talk to you about what's going on around here on Saturday night, yeah, Halloween so on the trail. We are excited. We have been planning Planted for this and yeah. working for it. Yeah, and we've got decorations, we've got games, we've got a scary campfire story. Yeah. We checkers. have uh, treats. Yeah, we've got a giant checkers game. There's going to be a picture area where you can take pictures. Candy corn bowling. Mm -hmm. I mean, Slime crafts. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. There's going to be a uh, cow. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. Does it have mad cow puppies? Mm -hmm. Just happy to see you. The spirit of Bessie is right there. Um, we, I called her Musafa earlier. <laughs> oh. So there's going to be like a stick your hand in the hole. Mm -hmm. Do you get Candy, you don't get to look in the hole. Or do you get snot? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nobody knows for sure until your hand comes out. Mm -hmm. Oh, then it will be revealed. Yes, it will be. Out. It will be revealed. Um, yeah, so we're gonna have uh <clears throat> what's this? Um one dollar admission per child to help offset some of the costs that we've um incurred with our the candy right. you know all the things we bought right. for all of this six to nine on saturday and the simmons center like i mentioned earlier is also having from 12 to 4 a kids spook house and a fall fest carnival mm -hmm. at the simmons center those are five dollars from 12 to four for five dollars each. five dollars yeah. each mm -hmm. there's craft costume contest games inflatables man that's the costume fun. contest i think will take part or take uh, happen at three okay and then from 7 to 11.30, they're going to host uh, Terror on the Trail. It'll be $15 Ooh. per person, and it will be on the walking trail. Mm -hmm. And you Outdoors. guys, yeah, uh, I've kind of heard talk that the lights are not going to be Freaking on. Up. Well, you know, there's a lot of hiding spots. A lot. There's, There's a lot spots. of uh, trees. So I'm just going to say, <laughs> it's your That's right. but come by here. I mean, no, we are right in the middle between the Simmons Center and we're right here at the trail. Come before you go to the uh, trail, come after. Uh, but we have a cute little craft. Here's one of the crafts we're going to be doing now. I will mention from five to six, we will be closed. Oh, we're yeah. We're going to close at our normal five o'clock so we yeah. can get set up. And so at six o'clock, we will open. Mm -hmm. But here's one of the fun little crafts we're going to be doing. Yes. Thing. Yes. This is a coffee filter bat. Yeah, it is. And it's as cute. you can tell, the um, level of difficulty is equivalent to all of the crafts that we offer here <laughs> on Trail Talk. We don't usually use your typical art things to do art with, but right. so what they're going to do is they're going to each get a little baggie, and the baggie is going to be a pre-painted black as clothes Close pin, in. okay? A little black cardstock cutout bat ears, if you would. Looks a little Batman-esque. Right. Yeah, and they will also have uh, two googly eyes of different sizes. So one smaller, one's bigger. Yeah, that will be in their sack will be given. And then what they're going to do is they're going to get a coffee filter and they're going to be some washable markers sitting around and they're going to take their markers and color around on the filter itself. And how it works is going to be the washable markers yeah so so um 
what makes a washable marker washable? Water. <laughs> and so you're going to add color to the coffee filter, and then you're going to add water. Could you yeah, do a spray? Okay. You're, we're going to have a spray bottle. And so the kids can spray their coffee filter. Of course, it's going to get pretty wet, right. but it's going to allow all the colors then to blend together. Right. Kind of like a tie dye. Yeah. If you yeah. would. Yeah. But it's a lot more fun to make it do it yourself. And what you're making it look like is kind of like a starry night, like a galaxy oh, type. Right. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's exactly so right. we So have... you can see she just scribbled it up, just scribbled all over the thing. Okay. So it wet enough. And what I usually like to do with mine anyway is kind of take it and just kind of. I mean, it's washable. Okay. Yeah. So you can kind of just smear it around if you would, just real easy, light. Or you could take a paper towel and do it if your kids are skittish. They don't, yeah, they don't like their fingers super messy. Sometimes okay. that's the case. And it turns out kind of like that. You yeah. see how it's kind of just marbled? Yeah, marbled. Just, that's good. That's a good one. And yeah. I need some paper towels to kind of dry it off with. So you kind of just blot some of the water away. A little of the color comes off, but not enough to really take away from the project. Okay. And then what you're going to do, or what they will do, is you're going to take it, fold it in half, and then in half again. And here we're going to cut out little sections. Uh, one, one more, more time. One more fold where it looks like a slice of pie. Okay. So like a pizza. Yeah, pizza, pizza slice. Okay. And then we're going to take and make some little whoosh whoosh to make the little bat, mm -hmm. the little curvy parts of the bat leaves. The little whoosh whoosh. The little whoosh whoosh. That's our technical term that we use here. Yeah, that's another element of art. I'm going to edit in a definition later of whoosh whoosh. A uh, whoosh whoosh is whatever we are working on at the time, mm -hmm. and it applies yeah. to <laughs> exactly. Okay, so it kind of makes it look like a little, yeah, like a little rocket ship. It, yeah, it is. Okay. Unfold it and there it is. Okay. And then leave it in half. Mm -hmm. Right. Leave it in half. You're going to leave the bottom part where it's been cut. Kind of gather it together. Yeah. So you have like a wing part here. Okay. And prior to this, I think you will have glued the, you're going to have your eyeball in your, wait, but it goes the other way. Yeah. Um, so you're going to go back. Yeah. For the, the, the eyeball. eyeballs and the bat hat ears mm -hmm. things are in. Yeah. Are in place. So there's your bat. Okay. And then before, after, well, here you go. You can just, yeah, show this guy for, put it, the bat ears. Back behind between the two, mm -hmm. and then your eyes will be glued. And the eyes will be glued right on the mm -hmm. front. So you have a cute little bat. Aren't those fun? I really think those are super cute. And if you really, you can know, put it in the sky and have the bat call. Yeah, exactly. The Batman call. Yeah, Batman. Just get a bat flashlight. Signal. The bat signal. Thank get you. Get a flashlight mm -hmm. and you know have this in front of the flashlight, and then your bat signal is projected onto the wall, and then he's going to have the bat. And the then. Bat. That's right. And then I'll come flying on the scene <laughs> and jump out with my that's right. My cape. You have right. Anyway, that's kind of how it comes together. Okay, step by step. And someone put out the bat signals. <laughs> that was my Christian Bale Batman voice. <laughs> it's the Joker. It's Why are you so serious, son? I've watched that a few too many times. We hope you guys, you guys have, this was fun. It was very fun. We hope you've enjoyed everything that we made. These are my um, favorite ones. I know. These are just, this has been super fun. We have all kinds of yummy treats. We've got yeah. the dig in too when we go on yeah. there. <laughs> messy fingers. See, I told you I'd get messy before it was over with. Um, but you guys come by and see us. We will not be having trail talk tomorrow. Um, but you guys come by and see us on Saturday night. We're all going to be here and we are yes. really planning a lot of fun. Katie and I will be here. Come take your picture oh, with us. Yeah. Take your picture in front of the photo op. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's going to be super fun. The whole place is going to be decorated. Yeah. It's going to be fun. We're going to have a little scare and a lot of fun. So it's going to be the bomb. Yeah. So anyway, we hope you enjoyed today. We had a great time and yes. we'll see you next time. Bye guys. Happy trails. Happy trails.